Very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava, and again after a long break or winter break, here I am with a new video on Ansible. And believe me, guys, there's a huge demand coming up for Ansible. Huge demand. So make sure you've got the required skills. And if you are already a Linux Sys admin, so it's the right time and having an experience of two to three years or more than two years. So I think it's the right time to move into the DevOps. So you should have basic skills like Ansible, Puppet, Chef, OpenStack, AWS. That's fine. So let's start. So here today I'm going to explain you Ansible Vault feature. So Vault is basically a feature given by Ansible which allows you to encrypt your files or your variable files. Uh, so that any person who is reading the file will not be able to read it straight away. And Ansible can be used or it is generally used for uh, like uh, storing your variables if you are uh, using Ansible roles. So let me show you with a couple of very simple examples how can we use Ansible Vault. So traditionally what we do, uh, this machine ans one will be my server. So let me see if I have got any uh, simple Ansible file here. Okay, okay, okay. So let me check this. What is this? Test one. So I, if I do a test one, so fine. It's a simple file which I think I had used in the previous videos, right? So ants one is my machine with a blue background, and I have got another machine ants two. This is the one with a green background which will be my remote host, which the Ansible is going to configure. So let me go back to my server or the ANS1 will be the controller. So what I do, let me just copy this and I will do some modifications here. So, so as you can see here, anyone can read this file, right? It can be my role with my values my variables, a lot of other things which I might not want to uh, let my even my team members uh, read, right? So normally when we use the VI editor or, or the Vim editor, anyone can view it. So if it is a confidential file like your variable file generally, so what I can do, I can use Ansible Vault to make it a encrypted file. So it's very simple, right? Ansible Vault. So it's not a rocket science, it's very easy stuff. Ansible wall create say I give the file top secret though it's not top secret YAML obviously it will ask me for a vault password so this password will be used again to read the file to do decrypt the file and to edit the file so make sure that you remember this password so I give reddit as the password confirm with, with the same and I hear I just paste it so, right so I just do some changes here so instead of this uh, training Ansible, I write it here Ansible Vault video, right? By Alok. So, so this is a file I had created using Ansible Vault. Save and come out. Fair enough. So if my team member view this file, there's a file coming up here, top secret, and obviously out of curiosity, he's intrigued he want to view this so he won't be able to view anything any contents inside it that's the beauty of ansible vault now even you cannot do vi so if i do a vim sorry guys sorry you cannot do anything so obviously i have to come out of like this right so in case you want to edit it then i can use the added feature ansible vault added and the name of the file top secret.yaml it will again uh, want you to give the password red hat will be my password i don't particularly find this vault too much to be used because if you are using multiple passwords then it will be very difficult for you to remember each file vault password and if you are using a single password then you have got a spo a single point of failure or a single point of hack or whatever you can say this because 
if that password is broken or leaked or you might be a victim of social engineering then you're gone man but still it's up to you how you you want to use this ansible world in your scenarios so i don't have the knowledge to comment on that or the skills to comment on that but i'm going to show you the features how it can be used in your environment it's solely up to you so add it as i have told you i can give add it it will give me the prompt the password then i can do the editing here right so i save and come out from here perfect so now it's being added and in case you don't want to encrypt it anymore you want to make it back to the plain text file so ansible wall decrypt is the command and the file top secret or whatever the file you're using obviously you need to specify the password that's the issue that if you you've got multiple file guys then you need to remember multiple password which can be a real pain in the neck or any other body part <laughs> right so now if i give a cat top secret dot yaml it's easily view right at as it's a normal file it will work and if you are you want to roll back to that encrypted stuff it's again very simple uh simply just replace in decrypt with encrypt a new password so here you can give a new password say i give harley h-a-r-l-e-y h-a-r-l-e-y job done successful so if i try to view it ag again sorry it's gone it's encrypted that's fair enough so but can i find now this particular let me decrypt it once more Harley is a password, world password. So if, if if I want to run this, because it's a playbook ultimately. So the objective of the playbook is not to be encrypted and decrypted and using the Ansible world. Once you've created a playbook or you have created a, a variable file like under defaults or under where's in your roles. So you might want to run it. So let me encrypt it once again. So you will find an issue here. I'm giving a new password. Now Red Hat is the password. Uh, let me use Harley. Right. So this is a top secret dot YAML is a file is a playbook which I intend to run on my ANS2 machine. This machine, right? So let's try this. So if I try to run it normally, Ansible playbook top secret dot yaml I will get an error that the world password must be specified that means you cannot directly run a encrypted file with it, which is being encrypted using the Ansible world so if you intend to run any of the uh, recipes or oh, sorry any of your playbooks I'm sorry I'm like I'm shuttling I think my mind is swapping in in between chef and puppet and ansible as it's ansible I, I have to remind myself again and again ansible 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 okay so i have to use a option here ask vault pass now it will prompt you for the vault password you need to specify the pass which, which is harley now it is running it right so you need to remember this thing so if everything goes fine, then I should have this file under my etsy MOTD. So let me see it from on the remote machine. Yeah, this is Ansible World video by Alo. So this is a very simple stuff as I've told you. But remember that you should not be uh, like uh, encrypting the files when you create the roles. Like your if if you go to the roles, let me see. Okay, I've got Apache. So you should be generally you should be encrypting your variables right these files like your vars main.yaml because this is where your dynamic data is stored like your you are configuring apache on a different uh, port number or you are changing the document root so these things need to be changed you should avoid encrypting the file the static files right because otherwise the encrypted files will be pushed as it is on the remote machines which will obviously will be giving you the undesired results 
so i hope you like the basics i'll i will let uh let to come back again on a with a video which here in there i'll show you how to use ansible vault and integrate it with the ansible roles but currently the objective is to just to give you an idea of what is ansible vault and it can be very useful it's solely up to you so it's a small video but uh, the prerequisite is that you should be uh familiar with the ansible stuff so i hope you like this small video on ansible and uh, definitely i'll see you uh, soon very soon thank you god bless bye bye